More evidence tonight on the strides that are being made in the opioid fight. All throughout our Saving a Generation campaign, we have told you about the way the drug naloxone, or Narcan, saves lives. As THP 11's Roly Hoyt tells us, it works fast, and as one fire department found out, it goes fast. Craig, firefighters in Bryant saved two lives yesterday. That's great news, but we usually don't do a news story when they do their job. But in this case, we are pointing out how they saved two people from overdosing just hours after getting the life-saving tools to do the job. We just got the kits yesterday, had, a to had them a total of maybe five hours. In a matter of an hour and a half, successfully used the Narcan dosage uh, in the field twice within an hour and a half to save some people. A rolling stone gathers no moss. In Bryant, new Narcan kits won't gather dust. Thanks to special grant money, firefighters like Brandon Rollins now have the tools to reverse an opioid overdose, and just in time. We catch two in the same day. The day we get the kits and are able to save the people, that was, that was the good part about it. That's something that we've all seen uh, in all, the, all of our populations, big cities, middle-sized cities, small cities. It's, it's truly an ep epidemic. But naloxone is turning the tide. It can take someone from the brink of death back to life with just a spray in the nose. More and more first responders are getting it, and firefighters are often the fastest. I truly believe that given that patient that dose of Narcan that quick, it, I mean, it's obvious that it made a difference. Now on all these huge pieces of equipment, it's this little kit that's managed to save two lives so far. The supply is going to run low quickly. They're going to get a grant to try and see if they can get some more. We would like to be able to have a stockpile of it, but that's pretty expensive. So I know we're going to try to maybe explore opportunities, grant opportunities ourselves. All to try and keep saving lives and saving a generation. I mean, the first day of having them, we've already gotten two saved lives because of it. Chief Jordan says it costs about $150 to refill the dose in a kit. Rollins says the last overdose call he had to make had been about a month ago before the two runs back to back yesterday. All right, thank you, Rolly. Despite the Narcan results in our state, new CDC numbers show that overdose deaths are up in Arkansas through January of this year. Each month they release new provisional data. Deaths are up 3.3% in Arkansas compared to national numbers that show deaths down 3.4%. State Drug Director Kirk Lane says we are making progress, but we have a long way to go. We're seeing heroin, fentanyl coming into an opioid-dependent population and uh, probably more than it ever has before. So as much headway as we have, uh, we have some setbacks because of that and we have to be vigilant. Lane says Arkansas looks to other states to see what's working and what's not. It's a multifaceted program that takes our reducing our prescription rate and increasing access to treatment. Final data for 2018 should be released soon.